we're going to talk a lot about this in the next several weeks. And when I look at you know the profile of your company, mission critical products and services uh, used by life sciences. I mean, talk about what else is involved other than developing the actual vaccine. Yeah, we uh, play a pretty prominent role here in bringing uh, this, these vaccines to market. Uh, we're going to be uh, exposed to most, if not all, of the candidates that are being developed and sponsored, uh, particularly by Operation Warp Speed. Uh, we're going to be engaged with our customers, uh, really from their early phase uh, process development and R&D, and then we're able to support them all yes. the way through that scale up clinical trials and ultimately in uh, the production of uh, any approved uh, vaccines that, that might come out of this. Yeah, it's amazing when you think about, I mean, I, we can all remember back in the spring when a vaccine was still uh, aspirational, but the thinking was, let's start building uh, the building blocks now so that if one one day gets approved, it can get out of the gate without delay. How much of that advanced planning do you think has actually paid off? I imagine it's just it's just a game changer in, in retrospect. It is. Nothing uh, of this scale has ever been uh, done, both from a, a, a time standpoint as well as um, you know, from a, just a sheer volume of, of vaccines that are going to be produced here. And, you know, we obviously got a jump start on this back into the second quarter when we started supplying, you know, customized materials, you know, to our customers to help them uh, in their development of the vaccines. And we've been scaling with them as they've worked through, you know, the early phases of clinical trials. And we're obviously encouraged with uh, where they're at uh, and hopefully here on the, on the doorstep of, uh, of an approval, uh, at least one, if not more. Michael, Jim Cramer, great to see you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Jim. One of the things that I've been surprised about is how prepared uh, the Army's been, uh, how prepared McKesson's been, that they seem to have done either dry runs or they were just uh, preparing all November uh, for the uh, what I regard as being this influx of both Pfizer and Moderna. Um, you've been around. Don't you think that these guys are apolitical and getting it done? Yeah, there's been an awful lot of work that's gone into this. And, you know, although it's come together pretty quickly, you know, I would say the entire ecosystem uh, of, of players from raw material providers like like us all the way through to the distribution uh, providers have been really working collaboratively uh, over the last uh, you know couple of quarters. Uh, I couldn't be more complimentary of General Perna and his team there at uh, Operation Warp Speed. You know, we're very closely engaged with them. And obviously, uh, you know, with the scale of, of what the military can bring to this, uh, I would say the supply chain uh, is is up for the task here. Uh, we're trying to accomplish something, obviously, that's never been done at this scale before. Uh, but the readiness, I would say, is uh, is extremely high at this point. Michael, can, there are a lot of people who were very, uh, let's say, skeptical about the idea that Pfizer could get its, uh, its vaccine out, given how cold it has to be. It seems like that has turned out to be much less of a problem in the distribution. You know, it is true that uh, it does need to be kept at rather low temperatures, but, uh, you know, I guess uh, necessity is the, is the mother of innovation, as they say. Uh, there's been a lot of creativity that have gone into helping solve, you know, some of the complexities of distributing a vaccine uh, that needs to be kept at minus ADC, uh, both in the physical infrastructure as well as just in the, the process and the handling of that. And I would say, uh, you know, whether it be, you know, uh, you know solutions around dry ice or uh, even processes uh, you know that will play out at the distribution sites themselves um, you know the I think the industry has done just a phenomenal job uh, you know working around uh, that particular uh, constraint Shepard Smith here thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube